legendary Pritchard Stadium, and here come the home crowd biker wolves. I'm not running from who I am. Everyone's just fired up. I tell you, it's great to see this community out here. I'm never running from a situation that I've, I've grown up in or a situation that my family is currently in. Circumstances do not make the man. They reveal him. I've accepted the challenge to make myself better than the situation that I've been in. Auburn's Deshaun Davis might not look like your typical star SEC linebacker. Deshaun Davis again. And when he tells his story, it's even more impressive that he is. I grew up in a single parent home. Uh, me and my dad have a, have a really good relationship right now, but uh, when I was growing up, we, we never lived in the same house. Me and my father never stayed in the same house. Deshaun and his older brother were raised by their mom, Connie, in Pritchard, a suburb of Mobile, Alabama. I just knew that troubles were easy to get into, so I knew the goals that he had and the things that he wanted to do, so I was trying to keep him from being in trouble or hanging with the wrong people. You know, anytime you turn on the news, it's, it's bad news. You know, you're walking down the street, you got to turn your head all the time. And when your mom don't want you to play basketball in the street, it's not a, it's not a good environment. Unable to control the outside world, Deshaun's mother made sure her home was full of love on the inside. I, I've been in the room and me and my brother's playing the game and we think everything is good. And we, we're walking past our room to go put a bowl in the kitchen or something. And, She's crying, and as a kid, you don't really understand. It kind of made us um, want to put our mother in a better situation. My older brother was actually the first person in my family to graduate from college. After an all-state junior season at Viger High School, Deshaun committed to Auburn, but an ACL tear would sideline his senior year. Only one person could ease the frustration. Being a parent, you don't want to see your son or your child go through, you know, anything like that, special when they have goals that they're trying to meet. And she's the toughest person I've ever met in my entire life because she had to be a male figure and a mother at the same time. And that's very hard when you have to show your kids or your sons how to be a man, but still be that emotional, you know, support that they need also. My faith and just trying to keep him encouraged and depending on God and knowing that God had something very special for him. Despite the injury, Auburn head coach Gus Malzahn honored Deshaun's scholarship offer, a gamble that's paid off on the Plains. And Auburn comes up, Deshaun Davis fills the hole and a one yard loss. If it wasn't for a scholarship, I probably wouldn't be sitting here, you know, having this conversation with you. On the gridiron, a tough playmaker but underneath the shoulder pads lies a heart, strong and soft, just like mom. That's how we were as a family, you know, always trying to, you know, bring positive light into, you know, dark situations. That was something that I was big on. That's how my, my mom raised me. That's how we were as a family. Deshaun has become that positive light for so many of the Tiger faithful, but none more than six-year-old Thomas Phillips. Uh, yeah. One game I was just walking down doing my normal pregame routine, you know, going to the end zone and, you know, he kind of had his hands out for me and just wanted me to hold him and, and I was just looking at him and his grandfather's like, come over, come over. So I went over there and I gave him a hug. Ah. I've never had love at first sight with a female, but with that kid, it was literally like love at first sight. And after that game, um, I kind of, I ran down um, and gave him my gloves and my sleeves after the game. That was 2016. Since then, it's become a part of Deshaun's pre- and post-game routine every football Saturday for the past three years at Jordan-Hare Stadium. For every game, you know, I'm going to walk down there and hug him. You know, I'm going to pray with him. I, I take him on the field. Um, we pray at the goalposts every game. You see it in their eyes. I only describe it as a God thing, but uh, it, it, it's deeper than, than I can imagine. There's <laughs> your buddy. When, when Deshaun picks him up, he's patting Deshaun on the back. Here's a guy who is now the, the captain of the football team who reaches out to a six-year-old child to just offer a hug and a pair of gloves. Small symbols of a much bigger bond. What number is that? It's more dad-son thing because 
you know, they love each other. It's an inspiration. I can see how he was raised, uh, even though it was a single mom at, at the time, he was raised with love and he knows what love is and he knows how to share love. <laughs> as much as I probably touched him, he's touched me probably two times more than that. A father like love built by a mother's heart. You know, I do it because I love people. I do it because I know why God placed me on this earth. Light, light will always outshine darkness, you know, no matter what. So, I mean, it's not about color and it's not about race or anything about that, man. It's just about being there for people, you know, and try, trying to change the world and, and make people better people.